Hi, I'm Naveed Ansari and in this video we're going to talk about animation montages and let me show you how much make your life easier with animations so for example in here you can see we can walk we can change the position the pose of our character so for example in this case it's holding a rifle and in this case it's holding a pistol and we can walk and if we hit A on our keyboard it will wave right so we can have all of them with layer blend that we did talk about it in last video and right now the animation montages so let's begin before we start i want to thank my patreon supporter because they helped me a lot to create these kind of videos and second i should tell you that this video is a part of playlist of videos about downloading character rig it make it game ready import it in Unreal Engine, create animation for that, retarget all the animation out there, and now I want to talk about animation montages, okay? So what is the animation montages? Let me go to game mode in here and open up our character, and you remember in last video we changed the pose of our character to hold a rifle or hold a pistol, okay? And we use, let me show you, we use a layer blend per bone to blend two animation from a bone up with another animation bone down okay and in here what i'm going to show you is animation montages and what is the animation montages for first okay one way to do something like this is go in and create another state machine and use layer blend per bone to create whatever animation you want and control it with some variables right but with animation montages you can play whatever animation you want wherever you want okay if you want to use it the old way we should create a state machine like we create a state machine for guns and we check the we use layer blend per bone to blend holding guns for rifle and pistol to a movement state for example walking right walking left walking forward and all of that right now i want to show you how you can play an animation in just our character okay so for that we need a animation montage so let's just go to our uh, content drawer go to animations so for example i want to go down and create an animation montage off of this waving animation if you double click on it you can see this is our animation and we want to tell it whenever we hit e on our keyboard play this animation right so for doing that we should right click on it and go to create and create an animation montage right right and in here i think the name is good okay it says waving retargeted montage okay let's just have it like that because it's it's like a animation sequence and we want to have it in here okay Control shift this to save everything and now if we open up our animation montage in here you can see it's a little bit familiar right first thing to know is that for whatever animation you have you need an a slot and what is the slot and uh, let me show you what is the slot so all the animation should happen in animation blueprint because animation blueprint is connected to our character right if you watch my playlist of video you know it by now we always should do everything for the animations in animation blueprint and that is important so what is this slot in here we didn't talk about anything in these montages okay first of all we're going to talk about a slots okay so when we create a slot in here in animation blueprint we can tell the animation blueprint where to play that slot that has animation in it right so we create an a slot in anima in animation montage and we use that slot in our animation blueprint to play it to tell it where to play it of course to, to tell it where to play it so you know that from left to right, we said that we want to from left to right do things. So whatever is in on the right, it will overwrite whatever is on the left, right? So for example, if you are in, for example, movement animation, for example, move forward animation, and if you hit jump, it will overwrite that animation. So that animation will be canceled and jump animation will happen, right? So, okay. So for example, we have this, we had this from before, right? We don't want to change that. The first thing that I'm going to do, I want to change this movement cache to movement blend cache, okay? And it's really updated wherever we use it, right? Nothing we change, we, change, we just change the name of that. And I want to cache this movement again so we can access it multiple times. Hold Alt click in here, bring it to the left because we want to see visually what can override what the what animation right so whatever put in left we decide for ourselves that it will override whatever it's in left of that okay so let's just create a cache animation from this and we call it 
movement cache okay and we use this movement cache for base pose of these layered with guns okay so we say use movement cache okay so we use this nothing changes we just cache something out okay we didn't do anything till here we didn't do anything so what i want to do i wanted this animation montage override whatever is in left of that override all of these okay so we should do it in here we, we right click and say montage okay and you can see there is a slot default slot that when you create a montage it will create a default slot and you can see it in here okay you can see that you can see it's a default slot and we can add a new slot of course and in an anime slot manager we can add the slot add group or whatever we want to do we can add a slot but let's just use this default slot for no for simplicity okay so when wherever we put this it will override whatever animation that is left of that so for example we want to put it between these two right so let's just put this here put this here so no the this default slot that will play this wave animation will override whatever animation is at the left of that right it will override these animations movement and the guns animation okay so whenever we play it let's just play it first in here in our character we say whenever we hit e key on our keyboard let me find it e key whenever e is pressed play animation play montage okay play montage and it will tell you which montage you want to play just click in here and choose the animation you want to play okay and after that it needs a skeletal mesh component so we should get it from here and connect it here okay let's just compile and now make sure the game mode is the game mode that you're working with and now if we play you can see we can move forward we can move backward we can go to right go to left everything is cool but if we walk in and hit e on our keyboard all the animation will be override with this wave animation right so whenever we hit e it will run that animation and it will override whatever animation that is in left of that you can see it's like this right we don't want to have something like this we want to again use layered blend per bone for this as well okay so let's just hold alt and disconnect this put it up here and again right click in here and say layered blend per bone and again in here we should uh, go to layer setup in here and add one in here you can see we have a base pose and we have blend pose zero okay what is the best base pose the base pose is the or movement but movement cache it should be movement cache so we can use it multiple time right so we can connect it to base pose and the pose that we want to blend with this movement is our default slot montage that we create in here by default it has default slot right so with that we can blend these two together and we can connect these to here and for the source of this slot what we want to use let's just bring this all out a little bit like this and the source of this slot i want it to be this one the animation on the left right so what will happen if we compile you can see this layer blend per bone will blend this movement with this default slot right so now with that we should tell it what bone to the top it should play the blend pose zero and what bone to the down it should play base pose right so if we click in here go to a skeleton in here i want it from this bone a spine tree to the top whatever it's children of this spine tree i want to play the wave animation and whatever is below it or it's not child of that i wanted to play the movement animation right so let's just copy the spine tree name by right click on it and copy selected bone name and again go back here and click in here and choose the bone name okay and that's all we need to do now if we compile and run our game you can see we can move and hit e and you can see it play uh wave animation at top and it will play movement animation at bottom of that right everything is working fine but there is some problem in here you can see um we can we can go to our montages and change some value in here so for example you can see everything is cool by default but this blend or trigger time we can change it to for example take 0.3 second to blend between the animations so we everything should be smooth in here right everything is smooth and you can see it is it start like this and after that doing something like this we can fix that let me show you how we can fix that if we go to our animation in this wave animation i want to copy and paste it one time and it will create waving retargeted number two and if you double click on it you can see at the start it it's like this but i want it to be like this okay 
from here I want it, right? So place your playhead in here, right click on it and tell it to remove frame 0 to frame 25. And from here I want it to stop over here, right? From this point is more than enough. Right click on it and remove from frame 58 to 65 for example. No, or animation is like this, just waving. And the animation montage will work correctly with that, right? So let's just now create this animation montage. Right click on it and create animation montage node. The name is cool, let's just double click on it. And this is our animation, new animation montage, right? Let's just change this to 0.3 again, this blend out trigger time and everything cool by default one thing that we should do we should change this to waving retargeted 2 and just make sure everything is saved and compiled Control shift s and go here you can see again this one is using default slot so everything is cool now if we run our game hit e you can see it's better right it won't go like this and after that this and after that this and after that this right it won't do that so it will like this it is like this and it will do it like this and after that go back there so we edit with three more animations so it look cooler right again let's just do it everything is cool right everything is working fine and we have a wave animation with whatever animation that we are playing everything is working fine right so that was it guys about animation montages i will i will talk about animation montage more but this is this was the simplest one that i can show you okay and always just uh, just play with all of these layer play, blend per mo per bone use the animation montages and i will show you how you can create more slot and create more cool stuff with this animation montage but for now i think you learn some good things right so that was it guys for this video i hope you like it please 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 if you want to help me and you like this video hit that like button it helps me a lot thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye